We have a caller. Caller, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yes, thank you. Okay, well, how, how can I help you today, Joe? Uh, thank you, sir. What I'd like to know is, in uh, uh, two years ago, I had my vehicle broke down. I was in Orlando. I had to buy a new vehicle. I bought a truck, and when I returned home, I started making payments. About a year after that, I got some paperwork in the mail saying that I needed to re-sign this paperwork. It seems as though they sent me the title, which I didn't even realize I had gotten the mail. I stuck it in the box. The title in my name, they sent me a free and clear title, and now this new bank that they sold the loan to wants me to re-sign all these papers. Do I have to go through all this, or do you think I, it's necessary for me to go through all this with all this paper signing again and return to them the title? All right. We have uh, a lot of different issues there. But let's, mm -hmm. and I, by the way, I appreciate the email you sent. I was actually going to get to that if you didn't call oh. in today. <laughs> so <laughs> I, was, I thought it was kind of peculiar. I'm like, wow, that's, I, I got the exact same email sitting right here. <laughs> so anyway, it's Joanne, right? Yes. Thank you, Joanne. So yeah, you got a lot of different issues here. I, I've heard of this happening before on several occasions. Somebody screwed up, and I, I can see, I don't want to mention the, the, lo the lien holder who screwed right. up when you bought the vehicle, but they right. screwed up and they sent you a free and clear title. Right. Te theoretically, if you look at that title, the title says you own that truck free and clear. Reality right. is you don't. Right. <laughs> and yeah. the big question now is if you don't want the vehicle, are you obligated under the, the original loan documents if they've never been fully satisfied? And the answer is yeah, from an equitable standpoint, if you bought the vehicle and you've obligated yourself to the loan, if the loan was never satisfied, then yeah, you're obligated to keep continue paying those payments. Right. So that's a problem. Now, you're going to have to, if you're going to register the vehicle in North Carolina, is that where you, you're from? Yeah. Yes, it is already ready registered. Okay. Yeah. It, then obviously the bank, the lien holder or the mortgage company, whatever you want to call it, the creditor, they're going to want to put a lien on that title to protect their interest. And in my yeah. opinion, they're going to be able to. I'm sure they're right. going to be able to. So, you're, mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to have to go. But now, use it as a bargaining chip, if you can, to get a lower interest rate or something. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, they yep. screwed up, and they're causing damages to you. This doesn't yeah. come, you know, free and clear. They made a mistake, and that's their fault. But I think you can sit down or try to negotiate with them and try to get a better interest rate. I mean, let's say you were at 5% maybe you can get it for four. Sure. It can't hurt to ask. Or maybe you can get a couple, you know, maybe you can get a coupon for a couple free oil changes at the local dealership or something. Make them throw in something for your damages. Okay. All right? I understand. Thank you so much. But yeah, you're going to have to go through, you're going to have to either re-sign the paperwork or the other paperwork's going to come back into life. I mean, somebody's owed money on this car. You're not going to walk away with it. I like your thinking, though. Right. I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you for calling in and thank you for thank sending you. the email. I really appreciate that.